All right, guys, this one is great. We are so happy to bring you the greatest self own in the history of wokeism. Wokeism obviously is a brain cancer that affects people who are pathetic and failed athletes and need to revive their career. And so they do the thing that corporations reward people for these days by hating America. Some person who did that, I won't even mention her name because I don't want to give her more attention. So I'm just going to say this athlete, this athlete and person who disrespected the American flag just this week when she threw a temper tantrum better than she threw a hammer and got third place at the Olympic trials, this person decided to throw a hissy fit and to disrespect the colors under which she wishes to compete in the Tokyo Olympics makes no sense to me, at least. Maybe I'm just old-fashioned. But if you hate the country that you wish to compete for, perhaps maybe you shouldn't even try to be on the team, Team USA. But here we are, a bizarro clown world we live in, and the clowns continue to roll out of their own clown car with their goofy shoes on, and on those shoes is a URL to an old website that this athlete decided to not take down from the internet. It's only a couple years old from just back. The latest post, I think, was 2016, where this athlete was draping herself in the flag, was talking about how much she loved America, talking about how proud she was to represent the United States of America on the national stage, how hard she worked, the opportunities she had, and indeed posting very glamorous photos of her once again holding up a American flag, an American flag that has now been replaced by a t-shirt that says activist athlete. That American flag now is disgusting and distasteful. It's amazing how an entire country can suddenly change in a couple of years. Yeah, it's amazing. The whole country just suddenly changed. Yeah, that's right. Actually, and the last four years have been some of the best in American history by many metrics and by many accounts, even in spite of the COVID virus. So, yeah, it's funny how funny that funny that how suddenly when places like Nike start handing out Uyghur concentration camp slave labor cash to people who get woke now, now you must shred the flags and now you must go completely woke. The woke are pathetic and she couldn't stand it. She tore down this website. It's now a dead URL. You can no longer get to this old website showing a very old, distant, different universe from just three years ago when this athlete loved America. Hmm. Very strange that. Very odd, amazing how much can happen in just a few years, really, really stunning. The whole, whole country changed, 250-year-old country, but just the last few years did it to you. <sighs> Guys, the clown cars never end, the clown show never ends, go woke, go broke. I am very much looking forward to cheering on uh, some of the amazing hammer throw athletes in this country, Deanna. Pierce is one of them, and Brooke Anderson are the two other women who I will name who stood on the stage there with this other athlete, um, who I won't name, because they all want, all they want is attention. And so we're going to deprive them of that, okay? Let's celebrate this country and everything that's great about it this weekend. See you.